Hi, this is uh, part two of the further dynamics session of videos for mechanics three. This time we're looking at simple harmonic motion. Now, simple harmonic motion is defined as such when you have an acceleration that is proportional to the displacement and always directed towards a fixed point. Okay, so if you had a fixed point here, so you have something moving back and forth across that, and the acceleration is always directed towards O and is proportional to the displacement. So, key equations. This is the simple harmonic equation um, where you have the acceleration equal to minus omega squared x. Omega is a constant. Here you have a lovely equation linking the velocity, v, the acceleration, a, uh, the displacement, and omega. So you can see from that equation that when x is equal to a, i.e. when the particle is at its maximum distance from the centre of the oscillation, then the velocity is zero. So that makes sense because if you think it's going to come up here, stop at the end briefly and then go back, stop at the end briefly and go back. Um, conversely, when the displacement is zero, the particle is at the origin of, uh, at the centre even here, and that's when its speed is at a maximum, because if x is zero, this expression here for v is maximum. Okay, um, so also you need to compare, you need to use these two, not compare them, use them. Uh, these give you the displacement as a function of time. So the key really, if you're looking at motion that starts from the centre O and comes out, then you use the sign. If you're looking at motion where it started from the end, say a particle or something that's held on elastic string or spring and then let go, then you're looking at using cosine. Okay, a lovely example here of simple SHM question. Uh, we have the displacement given by 5 sine pi t over 6 and we firstly need to get the simple harmonic equation for that. So we've got x. If we differentiate to get x dot, then we get this. Differentiate again to get x double dot, we get this. So the acceleration is equal to this. We simplify and we get this. Now that proves it's moving with simple harmonic motion because the acceleration is equal to minus a constant times the displacement. Now the constant we called omega, and in the equation we call this omega squared. So if omega squared is pi squared over 36, omega itself is pi over 6. Now, the period of motion, uh, I don't think I covered that here, sorry. Uh, the period of motion is the time it takes to go one full cycle. So up to the end, back, and up again. Okay, so one full cycle is the period of motion, and the formula for that is 2 pi over omega. So get your omega here, slap it in here, rearrange, and you get a time of 12 seconds. So it takes 12 seconds to perform one full cycle loop, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so looking here, we needed to find... Um, write down period and the amplitude of motion. So to find the amplitude we need the displacement to be maximum. That's maximum when this sign is a maximum. That's a maximum when obviously it's equal to 1, that's the greatest value it can have. So when it equals 1, x is 5, so that is the amplitude. Okay, next part. Calculate the time in seconds to move from O to the point A, where OA is 2.5. Now, we saw here the amplitude is 5 metres, so all we're doing is starting at the uh, at O and moving 5 metres out. Now, because we're starting at O, we're going to be using sine, and substituting in the values, we want a displacement of 2.5 metres from O, uh, amplitude.
magnitude is 5 and omega is pi over 6. So getting that, rearranging it to get t, it takes one second to move from the origin out to a point two and a half meters. Okay, another example, and this is quite a classic exam question. What they'll ask you to do is they'll give you a situation, they'll ask you to prove it uh, moves with simple harmonic motion and then use that information to find something else. First thing you need to do in these situations here is um, look at an equilibrium scenario. So you're finding the modulus of elasticity of a string. You know that uh, when it's hanging in equilibrium, uh, its length here is 7L over 5. So you know it has an extension of 2L over 5 because L is its natural length. Using Hooke's law, we get um, T equals MG. So resolving vertically and using Hooke's law, uh, mg equals t, which is lambda x over l. Rearranging this, we have modulus of elasticity as 5mg over 2. OK. Then the second part, classically, is it's pulled down a further distance and then let go. Now, um, using f equals ma downwards, we have ma equals resultant force, resultant force is mg minus t. So what we're now doing is using Hooke's law again, t is lambda x over l. So what we're doing is we're looking here at a general situation where the particle is a distance x below that equilibrium position we've just looked at. So the extension in the string is 2l over 5, which is natural length, plus this. Um, Okay, so that's the extension, so we've got 2L over 5 plus X, that's the extension at any point X of the motion divided by L, so lambda X over L. Rearrange that and we get this. Obviously that's proving SHM because acceleration equal to minus a constant times displacement. So, the constant is omega squared, so to find omega, simply square root. So, omega's root 5g over 2l. The period of motion is 2 pi over omega, so 2 pi over that, which gives you this expression here. Okay.